Hi y'all. Um, so I thought I would try something, a new series or new whatever, but so um, I'm going to try stuff that I find on Pinterest that inspire me. Today I'm going to do these. This is just a regular white button. Oops, sorry. Oh my goodness. That's just a regular white button. And then they decorated it with paper. So I'm going to try it, but add a twist to it because um, I don't have white buttons and I don't have the money to go buy it. So I'm going to use my supplies that I have. But before that, I have some sad news. Um, it was my birthday last week and a wonderful friend bought me flowers and I had them in my craft room so I can photograph them, which kind of sounds weird, but, well, no, it doesn't. But I am a big, um, I'm a photographer, so I wanted to get pictures of them. And took my son to dance last night, came home, and it got my book all wet. Um... So I kind of can't do any more on this series until I dries out. You see where, you know, the distress ink that I put when distress ink gets wet, it, it definitely does that. Um, I did this as a start of, for the next video in the segment and made this with, um, the buttons that I'm going to do, I don't know if that's focusing, I need to focus some, okay there. So there's the um, button that I created, but the page is just, I mean, total watery, which, I mean, it gives it a good effect, but it's going to take a bit to dry it out, especially this, because it is just, I mean, not not good so when I'm done with this video this is going outside to dry and then I'll need to I think I might put my heat gun onto these pages before I take them because it just I mean it even got into the first signature all up here is wet I mean, it's just, it's so sad. So, anyways, that was my drama last night. It was the greatest thing coming home and seeing that from taking him to dance. So, these are what we're going to make today. And I don't know if they'll zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. I don't know if that's... You can see there's a gl glitter on there. Um, this one's made out of chipboard. The weight, two layers of 110. This one's made out of a cereal box. That is paper, um, word script paper, you know, this book page. So, um, yeah, so we have a lot of, I've done quite a bit. I've been playing around a lot with these. So, supplies. I really love how that one turned out. It is beautiful and I don't know why my camera is not focusing it's crazy camera anyway so this is what we are doing um, so I used to punch these out I used a one inch puncher um, and I just punched whatever came to mind. 
So this would make a cool one. Um, uh, there's something relaxing about punching paper. Be interesting to see if I how this part would react because this part's already glittery. Uh, it would make a cool button. So um, that's what I do. I just audition where I want the punch to see what would make a cool button and punch it. Um, as for the using, sorry, cereal box, I um, just would take this on here and circle and hand cut it. Um, I have one cereal box left. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did. And then I'll, and then I'll show you the rest. And I used, um, embossing powder. Um, this is a watermark stamp. So basically you stamp it and it will change the color a little of your paper to give it a watermark look. Um, and then a uh, heat gun. So fairly easy to do. Oh, and I use um, this tool for um, putting it through and you need something to poke your holes with. Um, so with that, let me show you how I do this. Um, so with these, these are, like I said, 110 weighted. I just, just wanted to try it one time and it turned out pretty good. I thought, um, so I double layer it just to give it the thickness and I put my wet glue on there and move it around just a tad, not too much. Um, and then make sure it line, it's lined up. And then for the paper, I put the glue and I do a couple of these that way. Um, the ones that I start with, like with this, then it will, and I just kind of rub it to make sure it gets adhered good, a good adhere. Um, so the ones that I, I start and then I do another one that way they have time to, um, to dry before I punch holes in there. So I'm also going to do book pages and I like layering mine. So it gives it the, after I just put all these away, sorry. So it gives it a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll put a post picture of it. Um, you can kind of see the words behind it. It's, and I just like that look. So we'll do that with the cereal box. So you just, and I do the same thing. Oh, my glue is jammed. I guess that's what I get for forgetting to put Close it up. Like I say it totally throws you for a loop when you come home and see all that work you put in gone. Oh. Uh, 
Oh well, it's fixable, but and I think once those pages dry, it'll add a little bit of character to them. So right now, you can't really tell that there's layers of paper. Um, you can do two, you can do three, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. So let's see, that one's ready, that one's ready. I've done a little bit of these beforehand. Um, I thought it would be fun to pull out stickers and see how stickers would react to these. I haven't tried that yet. So I'm going to try it with you all. Which we're going to do it on this, I believe. Yeah, I think we'll do that on there. So, here we go. We're going to set the rest of this material. Actually, I want to see how that would work. I have enough for one more. Why not? Um... I have noticed when I do the cardboard, because I am not the greatest, let me cut perfect circles, the circles, sorry. Um, I'm not the greatest at that. So, um, I don't really. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of a layover on this. And so what I'll do um, on the cardboard, because I didn't cut it perfect, I'll just cut that. And we're good to go. Um, so now we just need, and I randomly pick where I want it. But if that bugs you, which um, I take a random button, and as you see, this is a little bit bigger, um, and I'll just stick my tool in and press it in, which will give me, um, I don't think you guys can see it, but it will give me the indents of where to poke the holes. So we have one right there and one right there. Um, there you we go. Um, I think that one we just did. So I do this a little. So, but I just pick. Some of them are further. Some of them aren't. I just don't. I'm not one that. I don't know. I think it adds to the. fun of it. Sometimes I like them uniform. I know some of them were uniform, but a lot of the ones I did just weren't. And I think we're going to put a sticker on this before I do it. Let me grab my sticker bucket. Um, let's move you guys up. This is my um, sticker box that I have by the side of my craft table to pick to for just whatever. Um, I have a little bit of everything in here. So. I wonder how rub on would probably work pretty cool on that, but I don't really want to do a rub on today. Let's see, these are all too big. That's the problem right now I'm running into. Oh. No, I don't want words on there. 
Oh, maybe we'll do a Halloween one. That would be fun. My daughter is obsessed with Halloween. Like, crazy obsessed with Halloween. Alright, let me put that back. And we'll just figure. Oh, that hat would be cute. Oh, I kind of like that one better. She will love this. I'm going to have to make this for her because if I don't give it to her, that girl will steal it. Because um, she is very much obsessed with Halloween. Let me put that back. So, I'm going to poke holes on the sides of this hat. So, it I don't get, um, I just think that'll look better button wise. Okay. So here's how I do it. Very, very easy. So I always make sure, um, I'm all set and basically just That is just getting a uh, ink on there, so the embossing powder will stick to it. And I do two or three layers of this, and this is going to get loud. Sorry. Um, and I tend to go a little bit further away because if you get too close at first, all of that embossing powder will. Fly. Well, not all of it, but some of it will fly. So, and then I do the next one. Let's do the. I'm curious how this sticker will work. Let's do this sticker. So I let that cool and then I do multiple layers because that is a little rough and it's not as smooth like a button that I would want. Um, so, and, okay, wrong side. One side of these little things is bigger than the other. <laughs> good okay let's do this one and then we'll go back to that first one and I'll show you what I'm talking about of it not being as smooth so this is where you'll start seeing the layers of the book page um, because the embossing gets it you know that first layer wet um, and I had that too close And then you'll start seeing the other layers, which I think is kind of cool. So this is a very messy because it does these little powder stuff um, will go everywhere. Um, so you have to do it on a surface and then clean it up afterwards because it has a lot of little embossing powder on it. So if you want these distressed, you need to do it before you do it. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little rough. And so by re-dipping it, re-putting the, you have to re-ink it. Um, I do have embossing powder, but I just find that the stuff uses, is just works just as well. Um, and I kind of like it better. So 
so and then the second time around doing this it actually will that roughness will clear up so that dries oops so if you get your finger in there and <laughs> get fingerprints done that quite a few times um you just repeat it and it will just clear it out so let's do this one and then i'll bring that one up to show you because these are wrong side one of these sides is just a little too big So, let me take this up now. So, you see there's not, it's all nice and smooth now. So, that's how I make, um, was inspired by that button on Pinterest to make these. Um, they're, as you can see, really easy. I just, um, maybe one day I'll buy buttons. I mean, I have a lot of buttons, but not plain buttons. And, um, but I wanted to try it with what I had on hand and who doesn't have paper and, you know, cereal box thickness. I hope y'all have a wonderful crafty day and I will see you at the next time. Bye.